What is going on guys? It is your boy Bias2K and today man we are back with episode number two of the No Money Spent series. First of all, huge shout out to you guys, man. Oh my god, I asked for 500 likes. 500. I was like, you know what? They're going to kill that. They might hit like 600. No. You guys hit 1500 likes. 1500. I asked for 500 and you guys tripled that. So, I'm obviously recording this right away for you guys and making sure I bring you guys episode number two like ASAP because that is what you guys deserve. You guys killed the support. So if you guys want to see episode number three, do me a favor, kill the like button again. 500 likes is going to be the goal for this series since you guys blew that out of the water easily. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get into this episode here. We actually should have a decent amount of locker codes when I say that like one or two but like that's besides the point we have some tokens we have this free promo pack from logging in today so we're gonna get into that right away um but yeah today is monday um obviously may 25th um there should be a locker go dropping today because they didn't drop any sort of content or anything like that we get a magic player i guess that works i mean doesn't really matter we're not going to be doing anything there um in the token market though you guys did give me really good feedback on what packs to buy and stuff like that and you guys did say to open up these lights out packs and actually sell what I get out of them because a lot of times you will be able to pull, you know, KD and Peja, depending on whatever the case may be, and you will be able to sell them for good amounts of MT. So that was your suggestion. So I'm going to follow that up and obviously do that for you guys here today. We're going to open up two just so far. Um, we actually get two Shane Battiers, go figure. Um, so hopefully he does sell for something that would be a nice little profit to try to get right there. Um, Obviously, I could sit here and like try to complete that, but that, that clay is just not going to be worth it at all. Um, it actually looks like he goes for probably around like 1K MT. So I'm actually going to go ahead and quick sell both of these just because like I don't want to sit around and wait for them to sell. Um, and even if they do, it, they might not even sell. And then on top of that, like the tax and stuff like that. So I'm just going to save the hassle there and go ahead and do that. And then also, we're going to go ahead and quick sell these shoes that we did just get because that is extra MT that always just ends up being in a collection anyway. So. If you guys don't know where we left off last time, this is the team that we left off with. We picked up our first unlimited win, which is cool. Um, and the team is obviously looking really good. Magic and Cam Reddish, I believe, were the ones that backpacked away for us. Wade also played very well because Wade is, you know, a GOAT. And uh, yeah, we were able to pick up our first win, so hopefully we can do that again. In this episode, though, we're going to be completing some more Spotlight Sims, um, getting additional players like that. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. If you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to NBA2KInc.com. Use code BIO2K for 5% off your final order. So I was actually just sitting here grinding out these spotlight challenges and stuff like that for actually you're going for Robert Covington. And as I predicted, um, there's actually a locker code that did come out. So that player that I did just quick sell, actually, or not quick sell, excuse me, that I did just sell on the auction, the um, that player was actually from the Rockets that I accidentally uh, bought, you know, two of them because you know how you can filter people out and stuff like that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that was my bad, and I uh, may or may not have, uh, you know, <clears throat> bought the same person. But anyway, it doesn't matter because we do have a brand new locker code here today. It is a little weird because it's for the legacy players, but hey, I guess it's the tank some of their price. I'll leave this up on the screen for a couple seconds here, so you guys feel free to pause the video and check it out. Okay, boom, there we go. We're gonna punch that in. First locker code up and in. Let's see what we can get here. So there's actually six packs, all different legacy players here. I don't really think it matters who I get in all honesty. Like I, I genuinely don't think it matters. Um, ideally, I would like to get one of the bottom ones uh, mainly because I don't feel like getting Earl Monroe or anything like that. So I'm gonna drop it down the side here. I think that is the best spot because worst case scenario is we get the Bernard King one, which I don't think it will be all that bad anyway. Um, okay, so it's kind of tweaking out here. Let's see what we can get. <clears throat> Again, pointless little propeller, th propeller things. Whoever the yellow one is, is going to be Nate Thurman. Hopefully we don't get reset because if we get reset, that could be pretty bad. Of course. This ball has reset three times now. Literally three. Can it just land in the Bernard King spot? Okay, so we're going to get Bernard King, like, his legacy pack. That is fine. I didn't even care if I got the one or two. I don't even care. It literally reset three times, though, on me. Like, Jesus. So we're going to get our free pack here. Works for me. We're going to go ahead and open this. Hopefully, we can pull something pretty cool. That would be nice. Let's see what we get. Flip all. We get a free Ruby player, and it's going to be Doug Collins. So I'll take that. It's a free It's a free card to add to the collection. A collection, a shoe that we can quick sell, and some more jerseys that, I don't know, we could probably sell eventually. So I'm going to be dribbling out this ball here and 
like as I'm doing that, I need to tell you guys this. So you guys can see the Trailblazers have 47 points right now. I couldn't let them score 50 or more. And they were three points away. When I tell you that Lillard was like peekaboo cheesing me this entire game, I truly mean that the computer tried to cheese me. Like I genuinely mean that the computer was peekaboo cheesing, trail cheesing, and on top of that, they would not miss. Like the amount of times that they've gotten to the free throw line this game was absolutely insane. The fact that I got away with this though, Oh my god, it makes me it makes me really happy because I really did not want to have to replay a challenge like I never had to do it before. My man Lillard was hitting me with some cheese. McCollum was hitting me with some cheese. There was just cheese all over the place. I don't want to deal with it though. I'm just happy that we were able to accomplish that challenge. So challenge number three, I think that was or that was only number two. Never mind. That was literally only challenge number two. So we're going on to challenge number three now, which luckily there's no all I have to do is beat them, but Jesus, man, that was way too close. Did not want to have to deal with that. You guys can see Larry Hughes. You guys were definitely telling me to make sure I do this. Trying to get these dunks. A lot of you guys were telling me um, to go on the triple there online or offline and do that, which I am going to do. I'm going to do some games in there because you will be able to get easy dunks with him like that. But uh, yeah, these dunks are going to drive me nuts because he dunked it one time. But outside of that, he just refuses to dunk it now. So you guys can see another close game here in the Hall of Fame game for... Uh, Roko, obviously the last game for the Rockets here. Um, luckily enough, like I said, we did clutch up. Now, again, this is proof to all you guys that I am doing this without quick through STS and my team. Like, I haven't used my bench at all. This is all bronze players and emeralds and all that sort of stuff. And again, I'm doing this actually without quick through STS. All it comes down to is whether or not you can green some shots and stuff like that. Like I said, pull up shots are really easy to green in this game. Like you guys can see, like I said, I'm literally doing this with a team of Thon Maker, Zhao Ki, like all these different guys. Um, and yeah, we were able to actually kind of clutch up here. I don't think they're going to foul me again, but I just want to make sure. Okay, good. I just want to make sure that they didn't foul me because I really wasn't going to sit there. But there we go. Clock is up. Finishing this game, we are about to get Robert Covington added to this team. And like I said, we're going to actually go ahead and grind out two more spotlight sims. And in doing that, it's going to add two more free pink diamonds to this team to kind of really give it a good look and really give it that, you know, that like that punch. We're going to get a really good center and get a really good shooting guard. You guys can guess who that is. I'm pretty sure I actually said it in the first episode. But if you guys can guess who it is without seeing the first episode, then shout out to you guys. But here we go. Robert Covington going to be added to the team after we get our tokens here. So we get our six tokens. Here is Robert Covington. There we go. So completing that, I'm going to go ahead and sell those players now. We're going to go ahead, like I said, and sell all those Rocket players. I'm going to go ahead and buy another Lights Out pack because we do get tokens from completing that. Let's see what we get from this. It is going to be a Ruby this time, and it's going to be Chris Mullen. So I'll take that. In the last episode, somebody actually told me how to get dunks easier with Larry Hughes. And I'm letting you guys know right now, we are two dunks away from playing triple threat. I'm actually excited because, listen, I've been trying to get these dunks this whole entire time. I decided to take a break from the spotlights and try to get him done because I figured while I'm doing the spotlights, um, Larry Hughes could actually sell and just be extra MT for us. So I was kind of hoping that that's what could happen here. And uh, yeah, this is what I've been doing. I've literally been sitting here hitting this quick little crossover, J crossover. There we go. We are one more dunk away, guys. One more. And then we Evo up this Larry Hughes to a pink diamond, which a lot of you guys are saying that I could sell for around 20K. I picked them up for like, what, 2K or 3K or something like that. So definitely worth the investment. I mean, I'm never doing this again. I can tell you that much because, oh my God, this is terrible because this man literally did not want to dunk the ball at all. But. Um, just to give you guys a quick little update too as to what has been happening with Triple Threat. Um, I've actually opened the vault every single time so far. Now I know that I'm saying that and then the uh, after this game I know for a fact the vault isn't going to open. Just because that's just my luck and especially if I'm recording it definitely won't open for me. Which is okay. But we have actually gotten extremely lucky. We got the 10 token thing twice actually. Damn we just keep getting pushed away from this dunk. But uh, yeah I got the 10 token thing twice. So, um, yeah, we've been pretty lucky there. We've basically gotten tokens every other time. So we're actually going to be able to open up a lot of lights out packs as well. So that'll, that'll definitely be good for us here. Come on. One last one. Can this be the final one? You just got to dunk it. Let's go. 
There it is, Larry Hughes dunking the ball. Now I can actually focus up and win this game. Finally, the dunks are over with Larry Hughes, so we no longer have to worry about that. And look at the man getting himself a steal. I swear to God, if he dunks this, if he lifted off and dunked that, I think I would have just quit entirely. Like, I think I would have just been done. Let's go finish that easy layup at the rim. I will take that. The game is officially done. Again, you guys, if you don't know, you can quit out like that. Now, what would be cool is if we can actually open the vault and actually pull one of the galaxy opals that are in the um, uh, that are in the actual vault. I think it's Rudy LaRusso and then Mel Daniels still. So if we could pull one of them, that would be cool. I highly doubt it's going to happen. Like I said, the vault's probably not even going to open up for us yet. Like I said, it opened up every single other time, so it made sense that this one wasn't going to open up. But I'm hyped because I don't care about these triple threes. I don't. Even, I don't care about those token things. Those. I mean the. Uh, oh my God! These free agent packs. Obviously, they don't matter. It, the only thing that would matter is if we can get one from a team that like we needed for the spotlight sims or whatever. Like the Lakers. I don't think we're going to be doing either team. And then the Raptors. We're not going to be doing either team. Either, like anyway. So that doesn't matter. But Larry Hughes. Getting Evoed up to a pink diamond finally, man. Yeah, 40 dunks is not happening. I'm sure that his thing got boosted. Like, I'm sure if you take a look at um, at his stats and stuff like that, um, I'm sure his, like, stats got boosted, like his driving dunk. Yeah, his driving dunk is now a 90. Like, I'm sure his tendency got raised too. But either way, I don't care. I'm not doing it again. We're going to sell him because, obviously, we did just pick up Robert Covington. And the reason why I want to swap him out is because I actually want... Um, I'm actually going to let make it so Batum can play the backup two coming off the bench with Dwayne Wade. And then we do have Robert Covington there in that starting five. I definitely think it's a little bit better of a fit. So like I said, we're going to be picking up two new cards here. I lied. Actually, Batum is going to end up playing the three. We'll get to that in a minute, though. Uh, but yeah, definitely a W added to this team. I almost forgot to actually there is a challenge that when you complete a pink diamond evo when you evo up a card from a diamond to a pink diamond you actually get a free 20k i entirely forgot about that that is i think what you guys were more talking about when it came to evoing out that card and stuff like that um i still where the hell even is he okay i was gonna say i'm still going to sell him i think that is a better investment to do so because i don't really think he's gonna fit our team anymore um but yeah, either way, it's still going to be free empty. I totally forgot that that was even a thing. So that definitely works out for me. We're going to see what he sells for. Even if I have to sell him for like 15K, that'll still work for me. So it's good that he didn't pop up yet. We actually made a pretty good amount of MT so far. So uh, yeah, I will gladly take that. I'm not going to make any big purchases though yet. Just because like I said, I'm going to finish the spotlight. Like the ones that I'm going to be grinding for. See, so, yeah, we could sell him for about 16K, which is fine by me. I will gladly take that. I'm actually going to put him up for 155 just so he does sell. Um, but yeah, I will gladly take that. Good amounts of MT. I'm just, I'm hyped now because I, like I said, I entirely forgot that that other 15 or that other 20K was a thing. Like I totally forgot. So we sold the rest of the Rockets players all for 800 each. You guys can see making a little bit of our MT back. We have around 53K right now. So I will gladly take that. Um, but yeah, now I have two teams to work on. You guys will see them when we complete this. Let's go. All right, so you guys can see here, finally we are wrapping up this challenge here that is actually going to give us Jack Sigma. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than what I wanted it to. The reason why is because I actually have some personal things going on that I actually need to get to, and I wanted to make sure I get this no money spent out, this no money spent video out to you guys today. So there's actually not going to be any gameplay as far as this episode, as far as like an unlimited game or anything like that. But we did still accomplish a lot for episode number two. Now, in the next episode, I promise you guys, I'm actually going to play two unlimited games. Unless, like, somebody quits, then it'll be, like, three. But uh, I will make that episode a little bit longer to you guys. So I do apologize about cutting this one a little bit short. However, this episode, we still accomplished a lot. Like, I was going to, I was planning on getting Walter Davis, too. But he will be in the next episode. But it doesn't even matter because we still do get Jack Sigma, which is obviously really nice. A uh, really nice player to pick up. Um... And honestly, what I think I'm going to do is, like, obviously, he's going to start. So, off the bench, I think I'm actually going to run, like, Mo Bamba at the 4 and then run Zhao Kia at the 5. So, basically, we're going to kick off, um, basically, we're going to be kicking off, uh, what's his name? Uh, Thon Maker. Just to kind of, I don't know, I feel like that's a little bit better for us to run a lineup like this. Um, as far as token, like, you know, cards go, though, we actually can buy 6 more packs. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm like legitimately sweating. It is so hot in my room right now. 
You guys have no idea. Um, so we get a sapphire here. We get Ralph LaFrance. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I definitely do like opening up these packs. And whoever did suggest it, shout out to you. Because these packs have actually been really helpful for, you know, growing our collection. And just kind of getting cards of all, you know, different things. Like logos, you know, courts, everything like that. And even just getting different players and playbooks and stuff like that has actually been really nice. So, uh, yeah. If you're the one that left that comment, shout out to you. Um, also, for that last game, it's funny. I actually picked up the Nets playbook. Um, and then I never used it. So I, we have the Nets playbook now, and I did that, like I said, to basically make sure that we're able to complete these spotlights a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I didn't even end up using it. So it is what it is there. Um, so not bad. We're going to be able to get our collector level here. We get the team create something. Woohoo. So annoyingly enough, I was just going through my no money spent video and I was editing it and stuff like that. And the ending actually corrupted. So I'm going to redo it. And I also decided to add a little bit more to this episode. I actually have some personal stuff to do. I don't know if I'm going to leave that in the video or not. However, I'm going to stay grinding this for a little bit longer and stay recording this. So, like, so this video is a little bit longer for you guys. Because I didn't even realize you guys got two thousand plus likes on the no money spent episode right now i can't thank you guys enough for that so you guys definitely deserve me grinding out this account even longer so i'm gonna have to put some other stuff aside for now but it's all good because you guys definitely deserve it after like after i, I don't even know like how to even say like like thank you like honestly like you guys are insane so we do have this ralph lafrance here that we did pull from the lights out packs i'm just gonna go ahead and quick sell them you guys saw one's up for 800 if I was to sell him for 800, you guys would actually see that it would go for less than the pack, um, or less than the player. I mean, or the quick sell. So actually, what I thought about doing too is I was sitting here, and we already do need to sell Thon Maker, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But also, what I'm gonna be doing is actually selling Mo Bamba now. The reason why I want to sell Mo Bamba is because Dean Wade is very cheesy. And the thing about Dean Wade is I actually really like his release. Like, I feel like he's just one of those players that has a very solid, you know, just build all around. So him having that good release, I definitely want him playing the four for us. I feel like that'll kind of complete it the most. So I'm going to go ahead and keep him there. Um, and I'm going to make the decision to sell Mo Bamba and Don McCurr. So we're going to be able to go ahead and sell him for like 5.5K or something like that. Um, so yeah, we're going to be making a decent amount of MT like that already. And we are actually going to be close to making over 100K already just from grinding out this game. I tell you guys all the time, no money spent grinds are the best thing to do because all it is is just grinding the game, being patient, doing what you got to do. Yes, there is some luck involved. Like I said, you guys saw that I did... Um, I did land that uh, Ben Simmons, but a lot of it has come from me grinding as well. So it's all about just paying attention to stuff like that and uh, yeah, doing your thing. So we're going to go ahead and sell Mo Bamba here for like seven. I'm actually going to sell him for like seven to 50 like that. So both of those are going to sell. That'll be an extra like 12K added to our total here. Let's get into some triple threat games because I just, I don't know. I don't feel like dealing with the stress of Unlimited right now. But I do feel like also at the same time that I'm, or that uh, triple threat is actually going to help us um, make a good amount of MT as well. Luckily enough, our first opponent that we did find does not actually have that too insane of a team. He has like Gerald Green, Steve Nash, and uh, who's the other one? And uh, Danny Manning. So definitely not that bad of a team to go up against first. Not going up against an insane cheesy little team here. Good defense between the team. That's going to be out on him. So we get the ball back. It definitely works for me. I definitely got to work on getting some jerseys and stuff for the team. Because we just be looking too boring out here. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Good move from Wade. Wide open. We have our meter on for whatever reason. I still don't know why. Because I swear to God, I turn it off every single time. But this game just doesn't care. So, hey, I don't even care, man. We're still hitting our shots. So, good stuff. I just tried to jump the passing lane because I thought Dean Wade was on his team. I feel stupid. Let's go. Wade wide open. Good green being in that corner. I really got to turn my meter off because we've been struggling this game. But I'll turn it off next game because, honestly, I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's go. Good defense. Come on. Good defense, Cam. Oh, come on. That's such an easy steal, man. Perfect defense. And we knock it out. I literally just said perfect defense three times because we tipped the pass. We almost got another steal. And then we got a block. And it went in anyway. I mean, if that doesn't define 2K20, I don't know what will. But it's all good. Let's go. Come on. Press up. Play some good defense. Shut this game out. Cam, that's you, buddy. Let's go. Perfect. Look at that. See? That's why we got Cam Radish out here. I mean, y'all already know because Cam's a goat. But, like... Get that back to Dean Wade. All right, thank you. Thank you for helping over. I was really hoping he was going to help over because that's a wide open green bean corner three with Wade. 
for our first board it's not too bad actually because we do have a token spot which i will gladly take obviously that'll kind of help us out i don't need a tutorial on how to drop the ball okay it doesn't matter you could tell me that oh if you drop the ball it's gonna go straight down where you want it no it doesn't you drop the ball and it goes to the last spot you want it but you guys get the point i already know how to drop it but we do actually get the tokens which is good um i'm not gonna lie there's two good opportunities right now for us to get our first free opal um, online, there's Isaiah Thomas and Mark Aguirre, and then offline, you do have Mel Daniels and Rudy LaRusso. So I am kind of hoping we can somehow land one of them because Mel Daniels will be a great, um, you know, big man to pick up, and he would play perfect alongside Jack Sigma. And then Isaiah Thomas could be a good point guard for us, or even uh, Mark Aguirre. I mean, he'd be okay, but hey, it's still an opal. Let's go. Good rebound from Cam. Let's go push this out. We're going to get, uh, actually, we might be able to get Cam. I was going to say, we passed that back. He might be able to get wide open. We hit another full white there. I really got to stop shooting with this meter off. Like, I got to remember to change it, you know, before the game starts because, uh, yeah, I hate shooting with a meter on. Let's go, Wade. Good green bean from that half core line. That's our second jump shot that we've taken without the meter on. And, uh, yeah, luckily enough, we were able to green it. So, hopefully, we can keep doing that. This kid is literally just running down doing a bot snatch back. They let him hit the first one. So, I'm kind of glad they didn't let him hit that one because I, you, you guys know how I feel about that. I literally call it the bot snatch back for a reason because it's all everybody does is they'll run down, flick, like flick back, do the snatch back, and then just shoot it and not care who's defending them. Let's go Wade all the way to the rim. Easy dunk, wide open. Curry cannot guard Wade in this game. I love my man to death, but we all know that he ain't going to be guarding him. I did think about picking up Curry, though. I'm not going to lie, like the pink diamond. Let me know if you guys think or what you guys think about that. I know you guys probably aren't going to want me to. I probably honestly won't only because, like, I already have a lot of point guards in mind that I want to pick up. Um, and yeah, obviously, you know, Wade is going to be one, like even like getting the pink diamond Wade eventually he will be one. Cause honestly, I do feel, I know people say that there isn't a difference. I do personally feel a difference between the two, but, uh, like, like between the diamond and the pink diamond, but I don't know. Let me know what I should do. Let's go Wade wide open, easy green bean. I will take that. My opponent is still just running down doing the bot snatch back. So we definitely have this game under locks. You guys could see the score. I mean, I was winning from the minute we started this game. Come on, just inbound the ball and let's get this game over with. Never mind. Or you could just quit. I mean, that works too. Board number two incoming here. You can get lucky on these one ball drops and see like a KD prime pack. That would be cool. Unfortunately not. We're going to see a decent amount of MT, one token and two tokens. All good. I'm not expecting some heat right away, but uh, I am kind of hoping that once we get to like the three or four ball drop boards, we will be able to land something kind of big, like whether it is a promo pack or it is like you know, like I said, in Isaiah Thomas, whatever it may be, it would be cool to land one of those. We get another two tokens here, which means we're actually going to be able to open up a lights out pack. So I'm actually going to do that and remember to turn my meter off because, again, I'm kind of tired of shooting with the meter on. It just doesn't ever work. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. One of the guys sold. Actually, both of them sold, which is really good. And let's go ahead and open up this lights out pack. We'll redeem our MT, build up that total even more. Out of this pack, we're going to get another uh, Sapphire here. It's going to be uh, Nick Young. I'm going to just quick sell him. Same thing like the uh, other guy. I just feel like it's just going to end up, you know, screwing me more if I uh, if I choose to not do that. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. So, we have 80,000 MT. We are really pushing our way to 100K MT already. Let's go, Wade. Big shot, man. I need that. Let's go. I was going to say, my opponent's hit three straight full whites, basically. So, we got to make sure that we can at least hit one this game. Come on. Good defense. You're there. That was bad defense on me. I'm not going to lie. I jumped way too soon. Good rebound from Dean Wade, though. We're going to get Wade wide open again. Look at the both both of the Wades out here, man. Balling out, doing their thing. We got another little 16 to 7 lead. Oh, that's got to be a steal. Thank you. I was going to say, then at least make that one a steal. Let's go. Good pass to Cam. Wide open mid range. I'll take that. Good shot. Let's go, Wade. Wide open. Easy green bean. That was actually a really quick game. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you can go ahead and quit. I mean, I was going to say you're you're a little too soon because then there you go. That's how you quit fast. But yeah, I think that is by far the fastest triple threat game I've ever played. Like I've missed, I missed like the first two shots of that game. And then I'm pretty sure I greened everything after that. And then we hit like two full whites. But uh, yeah, I mean, we, I don't know. I don't know what happened. We got a lot of steals, did our thing. Hopefully this board can be fire. Give me something good. Okay, I'll take five tokens. That That's fine for, with me. Yeah, I'm a little cheese, not going to lie. We actually ended up getting 100 MT. I dropped it all the way on the right side of the board, and it ended up going all the way to the left. So, yeah, you love to see it. But, uh, yeah, one thing I wanted to say, too, is I saw a lot of you guys actually dropping a lot of good feedback about who I should pick up. 
and why not like budget ballers and stuff like that and a lot of people were telling me to pick up like Otto Porter Jr. and pick up uh, Trevor Ariza from the token market you guys got to remember this is a brand new account so yeah I'm not going to be able to go through those token boards especially since I've been buying all these packs and stuff like that like I probably could have made it decent like a decent bit already but uh yeah like there's just no way that's going to happen now so uh, yeah, I appreciate the feedback but uh, like I said, all the cards I'm going to have to pick up are going to have to be like obtainable by the auction or just by like, you know, spotlights or something like that. Yep. Okay. So this kid has hit 100% covered three, has hit a 30% covered layup and has literally been gifted freaking over and over again with not or with me not getting steals. You love to see it. Literally, I've tipped four passes this game. I've been counting and we're going to continue counting. This is one of those games where we're going to have to continue to count to see where we're at because yeah. That, that is way too many passes to be tipping, at least to even start this game off. So we'll see what happens. Good defense from Cam Reddish coming down there and getting that strip steal. I will take that. Way to pump fake the ball, Wade. I'm really happy that that game is over. We actually ended up greening like three straight threes with Wade and then greening one with Cam to end the game. So I will take that. Going on to another board here. We actually get five tokens on this board as well. Hopefully, we can actually land the tokens this time. Because like I said last time, I dropped it all the way to the right and it bounced reset bounce to the middle and actually landed all the way to the left so hopefully that doesn't happen i mean if it happens once that's fine but i do want to try to get the five tokens at least once so there we go we get the one time i will take that i'm actually going to drop it all the way to the right again this time um because even if we get one token at least we'll be able to get another pack and that'll work out for me Let's go. Good pass back. Cam Reddish wide open. Good green bean. We really needed that. Like, we really needed that shot to drop. This has definitely been an interesting game, to say the least, here. Probably why you guys are going to see most of it, at least so far. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of just tip passes and stuff like that. I don't know if my players just forgot how to play basketball these last two games or whatever the case may be. Good defense. And again, we are getting killed on this offensive glass. Good defense by Wade. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I need to see. All right, that should have definitely been a turnover. That was my fault for dribbling into him like that. All right, all we need is one more shot to end this game. I'll go cross by Wade. That's wide open. And the green bean, you love to see it. My man Wade clutching up on both ends of the court. Definitely got us some good shots up there late in the stretch. I will take that. I know it was a triple threat game, but hey, some of those games being tense as hell. Because like I said, my man is just throwing the ball at me. It was not letting me get it. I could score the first couple minutes, but we clutched up. We got the win like we needed to. Can our board have something good on it? It has a thousand MT. That's actually not that bad. Definitely help us out on that grind to 100K. And there is the token spinner. So we'll see what happens there. We get our two ball drop. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I probably have time to play one more game after this. And then um, like play one more game and then end it and then record it. and tr I mean, then edit it and then really try to get this up to you guys tonight. So... I hope you guys killed the like button a little bit extra for your boy for putting in this extra time. Because like I said, you guys killed it that first episode that you guys deserve to see at least some sort of gameplay with these players and stuff like that in this video. Um, I probably should have used Jack Sigma and Roko since they were the new guys in the uh, in this episode. But um, you guys will see that when we start grinding out Unlimited and stuff like that. Because uh, yeah. Come on, drop, drop. No, yes, yes, no. Eh, okay, well, rip on the 1,000 MT. Maybe. Maybe, because it still could drop into this one, but I don't think it's going to. Yep, there it goes. It's a sad day, gentlemen. Sad day. There it goes. Unless we get reset, which we do. Okay, we still have some hope. Okay, we completely missed it. Nope, never mind. I thought we were going to completely miss the token thing. Now we missed the MT thing. Okay, this is th okay. This is normally how my ball drops go for anybody that wants to know. We just we teeter-totter for a little bit. They get reset a couple more times. Let's go. I will take that thousand MT. That works for me. So we're going to probably end off with like a thousand MT here or a thousand MT. Nice. 83,000 MT because we get a thousand from there. We hit the wheel spinner again. Um, and then, yeah, so we get 83,000 MT works for me. We're actually going to have to buy some contracts here. Unfortunately, um, Clint Capella finally sold. So we should have no more remaining outcomes. Works perfectly to end the video there. We have this uh, lights out pack. Final thing here. Can we clutch up? I just hit my mouse on accident. That would have sucked. We actually get two rubies here and two statement jerseys. That's actually huge because those do go for a decent amount. So I'm going to sell Mobley. I'm not going to worry about him. Not too bad. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad of an episode at all. So we're borderline at, um, we're borderline at 100K MT. I'm actually going to move Lamar Odom to the bench. 
because I do have a big kind of splash that I want to add to this team that I do have in mind for you guys. So be sure to stay tuned for the next episode. By the next episode, I promise you guys there are going to be three, three new pink diamonds added. Two of them are going to be from the Spotlight Sims. Feel free to put your guesses down below on who you guys think I'm going to be picking up. You guys already know one, but uh, yeah, then you guys can guess on the other one. And also, guess who that third one's going to be? It's going to be somebody from the auction. I'll tell you guys that. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Though know, I'm actually going to cut this a little short. I'm not even going to do that last game because like I said, I want to make sure I get this up to you guys tonight because you guys deserve this 110%. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, man. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, peace.